Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Now this week I've been down to my local antique shop and bought a little bundle of British copper coins. Copper coins are before 1860 and I have here some George I, George IV, William IV, different monarchs from different ages, 17 and 1800s, early copper coins. So with no further ado, let's have a look. As usual I put the coins in this wooden box and I'll give you a sneak peek before we begin to look through one by one from the worst to the best. So here we go. Whoa, a bit of a big sneak peek there and you may have seen some silver. Before we look at the copper coins, I will quickly, very quickly show you the silver coins I've bought this week. And they are all these, as we know, silver three princes, a classic coin. I buy them every week, at least one every week, as I said, since a few months ago, to just add some silver to my sort of silver stack on the side of my collection. So we have a, quite a nice there, 1916, King George V. Very cool. We then have this one here, which is 1918, once again, King George V. Very cool. We then have this one here, another 1916, not quite as nice, a bit more worn and dirty. Again, George V. We then have this one here, another George V, as we can see, from 1916 once again. And once again, pretty nice there, Battle of the Somme year, silver threepence. Very cool. There are two more. The penultimate one is this one here, a 1919, slightly later, King George V one, post-World War I. And then finally, the last one is this one here, a much older one. This is a young head Queen Victoria, but I believe, yeah, this is it. The date on this one has just completely worn off. Even, you know, zooming right in, there's just no way to tell what the date was. But still, I did not buy it for the date. I bought it for the silver. As we there, we have six silver three princes for six pounds. They're one pound each to add into my silver box of duplicate silver as an investment. So let's add these in and then come over to the copper coins we were waiting for. So here is the box of silver. I'm sure you've seen this before on our videos. We have here to the side, 50% silver, and here is the sterling side. And these three princes are all sterling. So one, two, three, four, five, six sterling three princes added into the sterling side. Very cool. But we spent too long now on those. Let's move over to these lovely copper coins. I need another sneak peek there for you. And I'll now choose the worst to the best. Beginning with I think this one is the worst. Although very old, you can see this is, in fact, a King George the First farthing. It is just the worst condition of the lot. So you can see then the outline of King George the First portrait facing to the right. And you can even just see about there the word Georgivus, many the Jivus there as the legend, which would of course be Georgivus Rex, King George. And he was King George the First. And then you can see the border around there, which would have been the border for the large flan farthing, as this one is. Moving over to the reverse design here, we can see an outline once again, sort of silhouette design of Lady Britannia there facing to the left, with her staff there, would have, hold, would have been holding a branch of leaves and having the shield by her side. And the date would have been here, but as with most of the coin, the date, as you can see, is just fully corroded and gone. You can kind of see the B there from Britannia, but other than that, the date and the edge design is very, very gone. The whole thing is quite corroded. So a nice coin. I paid one pound for it just because, you know, it's very old for a pound. But other than that, it's much more, it's closer to a token than a coin because it's just so, or, or just a disc of copper rather, even than a token because of its huge wear. Now most of these are farthings, so moving on to another farthing, we have here this one with a bit more of a visible design. Again, some corrosion still. Not all of them have this, but this, these first few I will show do. This is an updated later portrait, a later design, so a newer coin. We can see there more Britannia, more Britannia's details. Once again, the trident there, the shield now visible, uh, sort of legs and uh, body shape again with a helmet there. And then to the bottom, we can see the three national flowers, the shamrock, rose, and thistle for Ireland, England, and Scotland. So cool design there. What is this coin? Well, it is a King William the Fourth, as we can see there, Guvelmus the Fourth, uh, farthing, de Gertia, he by the grace of God, he's been chosen by God to rule. And the date there, we can sort of just about see, is 1834. I will zoom in even further to try and show you that. There, 1834. Although a bit, you know, corroded, a bit worn, definitely identifiable as 1834. And now I believe this is a new date for my collection, so a new farthing. 1834, William IV farthing, added into the collection for just £2. Now all of the remaining coins were £2 each, so you have to let me know in the comments down below if they are a good deal for £2. There's the first one. Moving on now, another William IV coin. This is again a William IV farthing, and this is again from 1834. So as we can see there, the same date, of course, 1834, 
This one's probably the one that's going to go my date run. I think it is a bit better condition overall. I mean, please do comment down below. But yeah, no, I think this is... Although there's a bit of damage here, as we can see, the focus is there to the side. Um, overall, we know, sort of zoom out overall as a coin, I think is a better condition and will be the one going into my date run for 1834, William the Fourth Farthing. So again, £2 paid for that coin there. There's still quite a lot to go. Um, we'll go to a different monarch now. How about a George the Fourth? This is a really lovely design, actually. One of my favourite designs. I would have said this till later, actually, in terms of best to worst, or worst to best, sorry. Anyway, um, this we can see here is a very similar design, but there's just more detail to it. So we can see, for instance, the lion by Britannia's uh, feet there, by just, just there, there's a lion of England. The date here, 1820, is that one or three? I think it's a one. Yeah, 1821 there. So over 200 years old this farthing is. We have there some leaves behind Britannia's shield. Britannia herself, of course, there with the draped clothing and then the legend around. A very cool design, and, the, and you know, not too worn actually, as with the obverse here. Although, yes, of course, it's got a bit of corrosion, a bit of wear. Actually, for two pounds, that's pretty good. You can very clearly see the portrait and all the features of King George IV there, George IV by the grace of God there, with the uh, laureate wreath in his hair facing to the left, and a draped clothing to the bottom of his bust. So yeah, I mean, a bit of a worn coin, but actually, overall, a pretty nice one indeed. And, you guessed it, 1821 is a new farthing for the collection, a date I did not have. So even better, that's very cool. Right then, we're not even halfway through yet, so let's move on. We'll do a half penny now rather than a farthing. This is here, as you can see. I believe this is George the Fourth one, we'll soon find out. This is again an older style half penny before 1860. This one is a nice design, a nice coin, but very dirty. You can see it actually looks more dirty on video than in person. But um well actually no, it doesn't really to be fair, it's just zooming in quite close. So really all that corrosion and sort of dirt and scum on the coin. But that is to be expected of a coin that is, how old? Ah oh, yes, I remember this one now, I did see this uh, before I was looking. I don't believe the date is visible, but I did, under the magnifying, get a better look at it. So I don't think it's visible to the naked eye, I should say, sorry. Under magnification, there we go, and zoomed in. 1827, I believe. Um, oh, sorry there. I think, yeah, I think this is 1827. You'll have to comment below. But um, I am fairly confident, yeah, this is 1827 to all purposes of research. And I have zoomed in here on the, uh, the camera there, but I believe also I have looked under my magnification for the coins. And again, I can see fairly clearly 1827. So a good coin, a shame it's not a penny, of course, as the penny from this year is very, very rare. But still, a very nice coin, the half penny there. And for all these coins, mintages will be on screen as I'm talking about them, as you will have already seen. So there's the mintage of this one. I'm not quite sure what the mintages are off the top of my head, um, but I think they're all, you know, fairly low minted con uh, comparatively to the other newer farthings and newer half pennies. Anyway, so there's the George IV, eight, and by the way, it says George IV here, whereas on his farthing, you can see it says George and then four of the I's or four of the ones. So I don't really know why that's done. Again, you know, any research, any uh, additions of knowledge you can add in the comments, I'd be happy to see. Um, this is a different portrait, so perhaps it was just brought in later with the new portrait as my guess. But yeah, so overall, again, £2 for all these coins, £2 for this, a new half penny, a bit, you know, well, more than a bit perhaps corroded and dirty, but still a very nice coin. Right, we have four farthings left. Let's have a look. So we have this one here. This is a nice darkened one, quite hard to film perhaps, there we go, but a nice darkened sort of toned one. Once again, with that design there by William Wyon, with Britannia, the shield and trident and flowers below. And this is another King George IV one. And if we zoom in, this is from 1830. A very strong date. And I do like this coin a lot for the strong date. And 1830 is a date I just have no coins really from. Of course, George IV did die this year. And then 1831 was his um, successor, who was William IV. There we go. Yeah, so a very, very cool coin indeed. A strong portrait, a very strong date. Let me zoom in on that, actually, because that is quite a nice date. Get a bit of focus. Yeah, look at that. 1830, no doubt about it. So a coin coming up to 200 years old once again, as are all these coins around 200 years old. Well, there are a few that are even older, the George the First ones, but yeah. So overall, a great coin, a really nice farthing to add to my collection. Very cool. All right, three more farthings. We then have this one here. This is another... Oh, that's a very strong design there, actually. A bit of corrosion in the wording, perhaps a bit of, you know, scum in the sort of lettering. 
but look at that that is a strong design there actually really really strong details on that coin so what is this one here this is aha so william oh i thought for a second the date was going to be covered by all this and that might come out it's a bit of a shame about that because otherwise look at that that's a really strong coin actually um if you sort of saw it from that angle you'd think that's a quite a nice coin bit of a shame there but the date is luckily just to the side of that um war zone and we can see 1837 again very strongly that's a very very cool coin actually this is the final coin or the final year i should say of william IV, as of course in 1837 he did die and queen victoria became queen so there we go his cousin queen victoria took the throne that year the final year of him on farthings that is a very nice example indeed a little bit of a shame about the green corrosion there on that coin two more to go this one the penultimate one is the same design a bit more worn Ooh, this is a George the Fourth, and this one is from 1826. Is that a lot of zooming in on this video actually to see these dates? Um, yeah, yeah, 1826. So again, a new date for the collection. I didn't have very many of this type of coin, this era of coin, so I just bought all these in a little bundle for two pounds each today. And again, for two pounds, a pretty good purchase in my opinion. And the final one, um, this is quite a nice. I do like this coin quite a lot actually. This is a much older one, as you can see there straight away. 1736 so it's not all too far away from being 300 years old which is pretty cool there's a quite a lot of corrosion now this is the bad thing about copper coins um, i think that's why they changed it and other reasons as well as cost but they just do copper does just corrode quite easily and oxidize and all that kind of stuff so it's just not the best material for longevity of coins which is a problem then and even more and even more of a problem today for collectors when these coins are very old but nonetheless, although corroded, a cool silhouette again of King George II this time. Uh, so not again, that was George I there. George II. No George III, we've got George IV and William IV. So nice array of monarchs, nice array of coins. And finishing off with this, 1736 farthing. And once again, a new year of farthing for my collection. So there we go. Very lovely indeed. And as always, please do comment down below the best coin of today's bundle. And if you think it was any of the three pences, then comment that as well. So there we are. So there we go. As always, comment down below the best coin of today. In the comment section below, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.